Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we are in Houston, Texas. We're at Houston, Texas, guys. H-Town, been a long time since I've been here, and I'm so excited to be back. I love Texas, and Houston is a great spot. So today we're outside Plink. Yes, Plink, as in like dumpling. Get it? Dumpling, Plink? Here to do a lovely dumpling and steam bun challenge. So I really enjoy a good dumpling like a gyoza, um, you know, a pork dumpling, all that good stuff, and especially a nice steamed bun. So today we're having a whole menu challenge, yes, that's right. So we're having every single kind of their different dumplings and one of each of their steamed buns. So like steamed buns, we're gonna have like pork, cheese. For the dumplings, we're gonna have everything from like Korean fried chicken, which I've never had before. Gyoza, of course, one of my personal favorites. We're gonna have shrimp. We're gonna have a, a tofu and kimchi, a potato dumpling, cheese dumpling, all these good things. Look at the exact flavors of that kind here just momentarily. Uh, but basically, we're gonna have 20 minutes to eat the whole menu, essentially. Uh, but it looks very delicious. I'm so excited. Overall, it comes to 52 items. Yes, that's right. So it's like 49 dumplings and then three buns. So 52 items total. But yeah, I'm super excited. I know this is gonna be so delicious. I'm gonna really try to enjoy this one. It's gonna be a hell of a treat. So uh, let's head on in to get you some more info and uh, let's eat some food. Hi everyone, here we are with all the delicious looking dumplings. So here we have the gyoza, which looks awesome. We then have the uh, cilantro. We have the Korean fried chicken dumpling. We have the kimchi tofu dumpling here. This is a uh, vegan or vegetarian option. We then have the potato. We also then have the cheesy katsu. And we have the shrimp dumpling. I have a whole bunch of different variety of sauces with them, which is freaking awesome. And then we have a lovely pork bun. I'll show you these up here. We then have a pork bun, a cheese bun, and a kimchi tofu bun. So these look fantastic as well. So hope we can start with say again. Five, four, here's a gyoza. Look at that. That is a beautiful crust. Three, two, one, let's eat. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Pling in Houston, Texas taking on this big dumpling challenge. So not only did this challenge feature my absolute favorite dumplings of all time, gyoza, but they were very, very, very delicious, delicious gyoza. Not to mention all the other variety of dumplings we had. As we mentioned, everything from like a Korean fried chicken to a cheese and pork to chive. Hands down, this is the best gyoza I've ever had. So delicious. And then of course the three different steamed buns totaling a 52 item food challenge, 49 uh, dumplings, and then the three steamed buns. Um, so flavors, like I said, were really awesome. Um, the fact that you could literally watch them make the dumplings here was super cool. And then I like that you can actually see right in the kitchen as well. Next to the cilantro. The place was very, very modern, and I really like kind of like just the look and atmosphere of it. And then not to mention, like I said, the food they were pumping out was really awesome. They had a variety of different sauces with all the dumplings as well, which I got to try quite a few of them. And uh, I mean, everything from like a soy sauce to like a few different aiolis, um, definitely had a large variety. And also the packaging, the packaging of, of their takeout materials, this sounds really funny, um, which you'll see a little later, like the steam bun box, but it was really, really nicely packaged. Really nicely flavored, really deep fried much, really nice crunch. So for the challenge here today, we had 20 minutes to complete all the dumplings and steamed buns in order to get the meal for free, so that's definitely what we were shooting for. Um, but yeah, like I said, I definitely was trying to, although, well, well, admittingly, I was going, I was definitely having a good speed. Um, I was very much enjoying them. I kind of just wanted to taste everything, and uh, you know, I was hoping that I would have enough time to kind of enjoy it a little bit more than absolutely rush through it like 100%, um, and that's what I was really hoping for. And you know, of course, if I need to pick up speed, I, it's kind of what I would, uh, plan to do, put some more wind in the sails. So some of the dumplings were fried and then some like the gyoza were kind of more like pan fried if that makes sense. Um, you know and again just debating on what kind you got kind of dictated that. I also really liked the uh, the shrimp. The shrimp are a really cool dumpling. I like that you could actually like still have the they stuck the tail like the tail was still sticking out of it. And again, those are the ones we got to see them breading at the beginning. And uh, like I said, just the kind of the flavors and everything was really really great. Um, besides that, I think it's pretty straightforward. Again, a large variety of different dumplings. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the food. Um, it was quite loud in there, so I know the audio is uh, not quite the best. Um, but hopefully, we'll be able to make everything out. 
Um, but yeah, no, that's about it. So just a lot of delicious dumplings. I'm also some steam buns as well. Do like both. I really do. Really do. If it's a good dumpling and a good steam bun, oh, I very much enjoy them. So I will uh, let you get to the rest of the video. Hopefully we'll be able to finish all this food in the time limit. And uh, we'll talk a lot more about the food here momentarily. So with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. I think this is a cheese or potato.
doublet you bring. Remember just over nine minutes ago. Seconds. Fantastic. I can't say enough. Seriously, when it comes to dumplings, 
I love a good dub lady. These wraps are fantastic. The best gyoza I've ever, ever had. Totally, totally, totally recommend. All the flavors were delicious. The different sauces was amazing. Like the cheese, even the cheese dumplings were amazing too. The pork look, just everything, the savoriness all together, just one yeah, very, very good. So that run, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. So we're getting to the bridge, pretty cool. And uh, that's about that. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. Playing definitely a really great place to stop by here in Houston. I love the look of the building. It's a like very industrial, very beautiful, very modern. We have a live active kitchen right behind us. We're hand making all the dumplings here. We saw them kind of uh, you know, rolling them or grating them earlier. Uh, but yeah, it's absolutely delicious. No complaints. Would definitely come back, will come back. And uh, if you're ever in the Houston area or in Houston itself, come on by. Seriously, would recommend. Lovely food, lovely staff. The people here are absolutely amazing. And uh, I can't get enough. Not to mention, look at these boxes. That is the most beautiful takeout box I've ever seen in my life. So definitely come get yourself an order of dumplings, order of steamed buns, and uh, you won't regret it, that is for sure. So that'll until next time. Of course, say happy on every happy eating. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I sure did. So until next time, have a lovely day. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.